This guy's created a real off-grid paradise here. Awesome, awesome building. His building is just such a cool style. He's got, uh, first of all, he had to make this bridge. And he told me all he used was a, a hand mixer to do this bridge, which is crazy. It sounds totally crazy to me. But maybe he got a concrete truck back here. He must have had to. But he built this bridge, and this bridge has handled the concrete trucks. It's got that awesome little garden shed up there. So here's one of this dude's super awesome concrete molds. I guess he sprayed it with form release agent. I don't even know where he... I wonder if he built this. He must have built it himself. Just burning his concrete mold, so, you know. Make sure nobody ever tries to build another one. There's another mold. Just burned it. I believe that's how he made his fireplace. Mm, what a shame. He's building a one-of-a-time concrete mold. Cool little uh, outbuilding. Super stout. Nicest, nicest equipment shed or outbuilding I've ever seen. Hey! Propane, backup, almost 8 kW of solar. He's got two wood burning stoves and a wood fired flash propane fired radiant floor heating system. He's got rough in for mini splits. There's a lot of smart stuff here. He's got water on the property. If this place ever goes up for sale. Be an awesome place to have. And a big burn pile. This is where I would have put the solar if I'd been him. This is not my job. This job was uh, sold by another company and they're just having me come out here and connect up their solar, their solar arrays. They do not quite know how to do battery solar. So just spent a while rewiring the combiner box. Now I'm going into the mech room slate roof, timber frame, all poured concrete. He's cast, I think he told me he cast these windows. Just crazy, the mason construction. Copper flashing, plenty of slate. back here and show you the solar array. I can get up here. So that was the original solar array. This is the new array. Standing seam roof, awesome chimneys. This house has a, this new house, this part is the new construction. It's got radiant floor, an awesome radiant heating system. Here's the backup generator for the solar. So the, the original power system is in this building upstairs. It's a Magnum and one classic charge controller. That's what, that's about four and a half kW. It's about four kW PV. And then we have the other solar array. That's the new one they added. Eight kW generator. Kohler makes a good generator.
actually put that generator in. Very early on in my career, they took me out here. And I just had to kind of make it work. It's still working, somewhat. Apparently they run the battery down a lot. Beautiful house though. All concrete, huge beams, awesome cook stove. Not a huge house. It's got two bedrooms upstairs, a little powder room. But it's far enough out there where I think you'd be all right if something happened. Nice little bathroom. This guy's done most of this out of pocket, which is crazy to me. This is an awesome heating system. He's got a gasification boiler. And the gasification boiler heats this buffer tank. And then this buffer tank pushes water into the uh, slab. So they're heating this house with radiant. He's got a couple more zones right there. He's got a solar hot water system. Drain back, there's the drain back tank, solar storage tank. And this, this is the domestic tank. And then this is just a space heating tank. So he's got two different tanks going here flat plate heat exchanger so that he can dump this, some of that heat into the floor and um, a guy from uh, up north came down here and did this beautiful work really nice all his solders are super super clean on-demand water heater backup electric water heater I think that's what that is Nice boiler, zone controllers. Yeah, I'd like to get this guy's phone number. And that's the mech room. I'll take you upstairs and show you the solar real quick. I'm in the midst of working out right now the way they ran this. They kind of wired it all like a grid tie job. I'm having to rewire that new solar array to make it work in here. Big old battery. It's like a six, this is like a 600 amp hour. What is this? It's an Absolite. This is kind of a telecom style battery. So 600 amp hour at 8 hour rate. Big old battery. Should have seen him carrying it up here. And this is not the best place to put a solar battery either because it kind of gets hot in the summertime. But I'm not going to be critical. I'm just going to do the job. Because it ain't going anywhere. Thanks for watching.